your free items, and just information also. We do have it started, though. And if we are going to talk about free items, uh, well, there's a sword. Hopefully not the only sword we see this race, otherwise it may be a bit of a long one. We see uh, Noki looking like they're going directly for uh, level 3, vanilla level 3, and Bidey's shortly behind. Of note, Bidey's does get the bomb drop that Nochi did not. So that may come... So that may become a factor if there's early bomb blocks and everybody really just wants to go check level 9. Generally speaking, especially if it's something, a uh, dungeon like level 5, it's pretty rare to be able to fully clear the uh, first dungeon you go to, even with a bomb drop, just because you'll likely to get key block. We do have an early staircase, though, so is it an item? It is not. There seems to be a general rule of thumb in level 5 that if there is a staircase staircase within the first five rooms, it's going to be a transport. Unless it's the blue. I mean, I... Hmm. <laughs> well, uh... Favorite items aside, it looks like it's completely segmented, those first three rooms uh, forming a bit of a, an island, and the rest of the dungeon kind of just off where it feels like. You got a bit of a nasty enemy set, with uh, Dark Nuts and Gibdos. Gibdos, uh, not the worst, but they do take a few hits with your wooden sword. To be perfectly fair, it's actually not an awful enemy set by sheer virtue of it's what you normally would have in level 5 anyway. So it's not necessarily like, oh, here's Dark Nuts, Swish Rubs, and Gibdos, or here's Dark Nuts and Lionels kind of thing. True, however, uh, you gotta be cautious. The enemy HP shuffle is on. Now, this doesn't apply to bosses, but it does apply to enemies. We see, uh, ropes are still one hit, but Gibdos and uh, Dark Nuts especially, we haven't seen much Dark Nut combat, but they could be a bit bulkier than you're used to. It's never a fun day when the keys roll high, either. Meanwhile, uh, let's talk about this, uh, this Gleok fight. Well, not anymore. You, yes, Noki can blame me after the fact for that one, but the three-headed Gleok in a in a moat room, never an easy task, and he was doing a great job so far. Uh, maybe a few more hearts, and uh, you could clear that room and see what's what it leads to. And one, one thing to note about the Gleoks is that the way their fireballs work is there can only ever be one fireball on screen. But with very little exception, as soon as one fireball goes off screen, another one's going to show up. So when all of the heads are attached, it's not as difficult to land the hits in safely. But when the heads start coming off, you don't know which head is going to shoot the fireball out. So you could end up with, oh, the head is right next to me, and it just shot me. Furthermore, um, the reason that Gleok is so good at just gunning you down once it gets one hit in is as soon as one fireball hits you, the next one's going to hit you. Or the next one's going to come out, so you just have to very carefully work your way out of a Gleok chain if that occurs. I, uh, both the runners have taken some deaths in this dungeon. I do question, uh, uh, personally, I'd say that you should probably leave the dungeon. One of the worst traps you can get into early on is, uh, just trying to fight a room over and over and over again and you die, and then you try and clear it again, and then you die, and then you try and clear it again, but that could, uh, cost you a lot of time for not much, uh, payoff. The other thing is, they've already seen a drop in the room. They don't need to even clear the Gleok to get through as... Oh! Uh, this is actually That's... free. It is free at the moment, even though I don't think Bides is aware that if you take the heart container loss on three hearts, you just go down to zero health, but you keep the three heart containers. So he's going to end up paying the bomb here. Yeah, you can n never d dip below three maximum hearts. We do, however, see uh, both the transport staircase, which confirms that the first bit was a segment, and a compass. So, two nice bits of information. But uh, I definitely, I would, uh, if I were both of these runners, I would come back later. As I said before, it's unlikely that you're going to clear fully clear the first dungeon you enter, uh, especially if it's a big dungeon like level 5, especially when you're uh, 
Wood Sword Three Hearts versus uh, Dark Nuts, Gleox, and even Gibdos. They aren't that threatening, but if there's a lot of them, it can take a while to clear. It might not be hard, but it can be a huge time commitment, which you could be able to clear the room faster with better weapons later on. Especially if it's something like uh, this, where you get kind of deep in the dungeon, you clear the Gibdos, you die, and then you gotta clear them again. At some point, you do have to just cut the losses and say, alright, come back later. Especially with 5 being so close to start. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I particularly like uh, going to uh, Vanilla 3 early on. Just because usually the first dungeon you don't clear, but you can get some uh, useful info from it, some keys, etc. You want that first item, or that first dungeon that you double dip, to be as close as possible to go back to. Now, sometimes you do get lucky and your first dungeon is level 2. Yeah. If it's an easy dungeon, then by all means, go ahead and clear it. But even if it's a small dungeon, it might not be easy. I think more so what matters is less the dungeon size and more so the enemy set that's within it. And the dungeon number does play into that a little bit, because you have certain dungeons, such as level 1, that tends to be very key blocked. Oh! Oh, that's but that is... Well, our, uh, our ramblings aside, that is a huge, huge payoff for Noki. I did say it's a good idea to double dip, and I still stand by that because it was a lengthy ladder check, but that payoff was a huge payoff, so we'll see just how much that ladder helps. And bear in mind, if we see something like the red ring, the white sword, the wand on the coast, that check for the ladder is suddenly going to go from a not a not necessarily a time sink but a time consuming play to now you have the ability to do things much faster or much more safely so it could very well work out in the long run even though it even though in the initial moment it doesn't seem like the best ideal play well we do see Bidey's uh skipping out on five without a ladder, as Noki is... looks like he's heading to uh, Vanilla 6 through the uh, Dead Woods route, which... There's a bit of debate over which way you want to go. If you want to go through 1, check the Armos, then go to 6, or go to 6, the Armos, and then maybe perhaps 9. They're roughly equal, they both have their own uh, pros and cons, but... We'll, well see how might... it goes today. Well, he might also be thinking about doing the 6 step, check the Armos item, and then immediately go World Wrap. That is also a possibility. Although I think that uh, it'd be a bit more efficient to go from 1 to the Armos, then to 6, and then World Wrap. Just a bit less overworld walking. In general, I would agree. Now, to be fair, I did think that as soon as he popped over to um, the grave, he was just going to immediately World Wrap to get that ladder item and then go from there. Because that would be a very tempting uh, thing to do, is immediately world map, cash in on that ladder right from the get-go. Yeah, that's, uh... De definitely, it's it's a play, and I think with a play like that, the earlier you do it, the more of an advantage you have. We do see an Armos check, and it's the flute, so that's a huge item to get early on. Now that, that's also a very interesting place to get it. Because it looks like uh, Nochi's going to go check what the level 9 level is. He may decide after he's done with this, instead of going to 1, just go back to start and check Recorder Lake. Well, Bidey's is uh, in the vanilla 1, which is level 7, and uh, I'd get out of there if I were Bidey's. I wouldn't spend uh, another moment in this dungeon. Yeah, I think given the size of level 7 generally, combined with... Yes, it is usually smaller than a shape 6, but when your first room contains a Pulse Voice, a Lionel, and then other enemies on top of that, you're probably better off checking your Armos item, checking a couple other smaller levels first, before going back in. Yeah, especially because it looked like, uh, like if he died later on, he'd have to clear that room again. The Pulse Voice just takes a long time, the bubbles were being really irritating. And, well, I think... uh, oh, go ahead. Well, I didn't really have much to say, but I suppose we can mention that uh, Vanilla 9, so 6 is 9, and 9 is 6 here. Insert Jimi Hendrix here. 
What? What's going on here? Uh, Zelda is now an undead. We got Ganon's room, leading directly north to Zelda's room, in the vanilla level 9 spot, off of the start of level... This is a strange dungeon to start off with. No bomb like holes immediately. Well, of course there's gonna be no bomb holes. I mean, it's level 6. You assume the rules of level 7 apply to 6. <laughs> you try to go anywhere and you, uh, you can't. Exactly. Ah, oh, that's fun. Looks like we uh, are seeing our third e of the enemy sets. This one's got a super, uh, well, but normal vires, potentially, but super uh, keys that the vires spawn. I am already happy I don't have to play this one. Now, it is interesting to point out that the uh, blue keys that you find in passageways and just uh, in dungeons uh, are different enemies and thus get different uh, shuffled HP than the red keys that vires spit out. And that also applies for the Octorox. The fast and slow Octorox are considered two separate enemies, so they do have two separate health pools. Well, uh... I was thinking this might be the easy enemy set, but the... The game reminded me, we haven't seen Wizrobes. Every enemy set is the easy set when you have Red Ring, Magical Sword, Bomb, Silver Arrows. Wait. Well, we do have a map check. Name that ink. Well, there's silver arrows! So many things happening at once, we don't even have time to mention it. We got, also, there's uh, a book. Uh, oh... Look at that book location. Just That's beautiful. We, we, uh, we say why force, but uh, have we ever uh, said uh, why read? Why book? I mean, uh, yeah. And the map of two, name that inkblot. Actually, based on that map of two, it looks like you'll be able to get around it. Yeah, that's uh seems like pretty uh pretty solid level two. So it d does look like we did see level two at vanilla level two. Um, I won't say anything more on that. I also also say we do have Gibdos actually with this enemy set. So I think this might be the same enemy set that uh we saw in level five, not the third enemy set. It's possible. Uh, I will say one more thing on level 2. That looks like a... Foot or ankle orthotic. Could be. Meanwhile, level 6 is a person with a really long baseball cap on. I, I was thinking it would look like some sort of really awkward cooking pot, but I mean... I'm not exactly known for uh, my ink blots, so... I mean, I, I can definitely see the cooking pot. Either way, let's, uh, let's stop talking about the shapes and start talking about the, the shapes, uh, specifically what we are finding in them, which is uh, not a whole lot of much. We did see those early silvers in 6, which is great. I personally, if I was Noki, I'd try and find this. If I find the Triforce, I'd just get out of... Yeah, I think so, especially given the size of the dungeon. You've already got one item... The odds are in your favor that you're not going to have to return here. Although, to be fair, uh, you're going to get one master to the door. Uh, to be fair, though, because the bow, power bracelet, and raft cannot be a nine, and those are still all at large, there is a slightly higher chance that the bow will be in six just by sheer virtue of it can't be a nine. True. But I think, and, I think uh, what's important about the gamble you take. Yeah. And with how much of a six he's had to explore so far, it might be worth it just to stick out if the Triforce is in one of the last few rooms. Speaking of Triforce, that's what you find on uh, in level two. And if but you go in the, the direction of the arrow, you get a Patra. Well, we better hope for Bides that Patra isn't uh, guarding our second item. Well, there's a pretty decent chance of it. It's, I want to say, 50-50, because we've seen all the other rooms up to this point. Looks like it. Now, I don't think he cleared the, uh, the tea room. It's true. It, that's true. It could also be in there. 
Team room is just a painful place for an item to be in in general. Yeah, especially especially that team room. Yeah, no ladder with Pull's voice and Lionel's and Wallmasters. So you better hope that it's in this room. Although it'll be difficult for him to kill these enemies because the way uh, due to the way enemy spawning works and with splitting enemies, uh, if you kill the uh, if you split them, then the full enemy will come back. Although getting an extremely good bomb to leave him with only one left, and then gets a clock to secure the last one, and is rewarded with nothingness. So it looks like that second item is gonna require some hefty combat, which I'd come back for personally. Yeah, I, I don't think it would be worth. I think it's worth trying once. I, I think any given room is worth trying once, especially because this one is close enough to start, you could justify it. But I would say if he dies once, maybe twice, just go ahead and move on and come back later. Personally, I'd start with the uh, the tea room, just because maybe I can kill a wall master, then uh, leave, re-enter, maybe despawn one of the bad enemies. But we'll see what he does. It's also a question of how much does he want to avoid that book, because you will have to pick the book up if you want to go to the south part of the tea room, depending on where the item spawns. Although I think, depending on what the item is, I'd be willing to pick up a book for an item in this room, if it's a good item. Yeah, and the book is actually, uh, we, we all say the book is horrible, but that's only if you use the wand extensively. And although we don't have a good, uh, a good weapon yet, it's still not entirely out of the picture that you, uh, use the, uh, the book with the wand to open vanilla level 8. Uh, furthermore, I still hold that the book wand combo is one of the best weapons out there to take to get rid of land bullets. That is that is definitely true. Body's uh going uh 0 and 2 with the Patra. Now she's locked in a room with the Goma, but can bomb his way out. We've uh, seen. Order with blue oh man, we've seen several gomas in uh, rooms with res robes in this uh, level six. Now I will say this about an early uh, nine play, or at least vanilla nine play. Thing is with it, you you really don't want to go too early, like what Noki uh, did, because if it's a dungeon like in this situation that's uh, lengthy and hard to dig, you don't want to be in a situation where uh, you just can't. Where you just can't clear, and then you have to come back for it. I would agree, but I would put in the caveat that because Nochi hasn't gone to level 1 yet, he could conceivably route this back in when he goes to check the level 1 location. He's also yeah. only one... Well, he's one rupee away from a bomb upgrade. That won't help him against the Patra, but it will help him another... Wait, he's not even fighting the Patra. That was Bites, who's left level 2. I definitely agree with leaving level 2, getting that Triforce, and then just coming back another day. Checking the... It's important to check the shops, too, and just try and find out where that candle is. Because he did not pick up the book, I believe, so... Uh, he did... I don't believe he did. And, to be fair, for all we know, Wand is in the dungeon that's buried under the bush, or in level 9. Yeah. Or... It's not necessarily something candle. you... It's not necessarily something you should rely on to get into the dungeon, but it's an option you have if the wand and book present themselves here. Yeah, and again, it's it's also dependent on the enemy set, what enemies are on the overworld. Now, we do have a pretty friendly enemy set on the overworld this seed, which is a, at least our one saving grace, so it is likely that you'll be able to uh, pull it off. However, it is still possible, I believe, that no enemies spawn on that screen, so... Um, that is... Not possible. Unless, I want to say you have to start on that screen for no enemies to spawn on it. Fair enough. Now you may get wish robes, in which case you just hate everything. Well, we do see... In this see, particular uh... seed, we won't. Mm. But, in this particular seed, we won't because the wish robes are in the dungeons, but it's very possible to get staggered wish robes spawning on that screen as we find level 1. Yeah. Oh my! Level 6 having all of the goods today, folks. Uh, want to run that one by me again? I happen to miss it. Raft on the floor on the way to the Triforce. Wow. So, uh, Noki 
sticking with this level 6, it took him a while, but it is paying off dividends with the silver arrows and, more importantly, the raft. I say more importantly just because the raft has a higher payoff early on. And interesting to note is that so far, Nochi's uh, overall decisions to just stick around in these dungeons that are kind of tough has really been the way the seed has really just been working out for him quite a bit more well than, I've, than some of us might have figured it would, including myself. I can uh, definitely agree with that one. Uh, meanwhile, one is filled with wizards again. It's an, it's a nice small dungeon, but the enemies are brutal. Bidey's having a trouble, uh, big trouble getting uh, trying to get into that staircase. This game is hard. Now, staircase early on, no other discernible exits. It could be possible that we've got a segmented one. I'm kind of inclined to go with the segmented one uh, theory just on the grounds of how far to the left you're starting. Well, I will say that so far we've seen a lot of uh, a lot of these late dungeons. We've seen five, six, and seven. We're only just now seeing one, and we saw a little bit of two, but it didn't have much. Nogi's uh, found seven now, so. I, I think that just seeing, trying to figure out where all the dungeons are, and maybe try and find dungeons 3 and 4, uh, is probably the play to go. Checking that raft spot and checking that flute spot. You know what I think would be a very interesting development? Not at all. If the white sword item is actually just the vanilla white sword. Well, it would certainly be convenient for our runners. Uh, although Noki still rocking that three hearts 21 minutes in, and Bidey's also not quite at the six to guarantee it. So, so let's take a quick look at this map of level seven. Oh it's, my. It's not necessarily big. It's can... just, it's pretty linear, so it's very easy to get a bomb and key blocked, although Noki does have ample amounts of bow. Let's also note that we can see what the shape of eight is going to be, and it looks like it's going to be pretty big. Also, heart is a heart. And five hearts is enough to pick up the, the heart container. Now, that particular heart container is very heavy. The rest of the heart containers in the game are normal, but that particular one is quite heavy. Now, Abides did have to leave level one after uh, getting another heart container in the level one. In that staircase, turns out it wasn't uh, at least segmented yet. So it was a that, find the magic bomb hole situation. The big problem for him is he just does not have any bombs. Yeah, speaking of bombs, I, f I find it interesting that Noki chose not to uh, not to buy that bomb upgrade at the start of a uh, level six. This he early on. Uh, well, think sorry. about it. Um. He doesn't have a candle yet, so he's probably just saving his money to pick up that candle. That is true, he doesn't have a candle. However, this early on, I think... I would think, especially with how rough the combat has been so far, that more bombs is probably for the best. Especially because it was pretty cheap. Really cheap, actually, for him. 76 rupees, I think that was... Or 77, that's almost minimum. It was... But I can still see the standpoint of, you know, two of your large secrets are blocked under candle spots. You know, actually a good chunk of your mid secrets are also under the burn spots. The, the ability to get money without a candle isn't nearly as convenient as it is with a candle. So I can, I can see the logic of don't buy the bomb upgrade now, go ahead and make sure you've got your candle first and then buy the bomb upgrade after. True. And uh, if we run across the second... Uh second bomb upgrade, maybe he'll buy that one. Once he's got his candle and all that. Although Plus, buying a candle is a bit less, I'd say, a bit less urgent just due to the fact that we've got the raft, we've got the flute, we can access everything except that one dungeon. So, chances of finding wand book or a red candle are a lot higher than you might normally think. Remember, he also has the recorder, so he can just record her to six and get that bomb upgrade whenever he wants. This is also true. 
And, uh, well, we do see him uh, picking up a heart container from Mysterious and getting the Triforce from Seven. He didn't stick around for the floor item. Now, it's an interesting play. The dungeon didn't seem too bad, but especially with the map, and I would honestly stick around in that dungeon. Just for the sheer virtue of I've got bombs, I've got keys, and I've got the map, so it shouldn't take me too long to get the second item. I can see that, and I can also see the decision to leave because you know three, one, and four are all because you know one, two, three, four are all still on the table. This is also true. And you have a quarter, so you we'll don't. See, uh, yeah. I think we're going to see Noji gamble a lot more than we might expect because that recorder just gives him the ability to get back to any dungeon and he's got the Triforce out of whenever he wants. Yeah, and we, we have seen him uh, do a lot of gambles with, uh, again, clearing a lot of five, getting the ladder, clearing a lot of six, getting the raft and the silver arrows, so... So far his gambles have been paying off well. Meanwhile, that is an ugly candle price. Yeah. Candle, what? blue ring, and bombs all in the same shop. Uh, I like to call it the B shock. Plus, the bomb price is just abysmal. Yeah, unless you're uh, extremely desperate and extremely rich, you aren't buying those bombs today. It would actually be more valuable to just buy the bomb upgrade. Well, we do see three and a map and an item. Your daily dose of potassium. Bananas aside, name that... Oh no, that's a lot of, uh, Blue Lionels. Right, also listen. name that Inkblot. I think it is going to be today... One of those, like... Conveyor belt, uh... Things with the hooks on it. Not necessarily a chainsaw, but... The one that's, like, used in factories to move things up and whatnot. Uh, but, Could be. but it's just coming out of the box that it's kept in. I'm thinking kind of maybe like a key, a skeleton key. But uh, moving on, Bidey's taking a death in Zelda's room, but fortunately it's not Zelda's room. And uh, he's made his way up to Vanilla 6. Or sorry, level 6 in Vanilla 9. So, if he chooses to continue to dig here, then that will uh, definitely pay off. But it's also a. Uh, wasn't the easiest dungeon. Took Noki a long time to dig it, so. We'll see how this goes. Well, the silver arrows are right here, so they're not necessarily hard to get. It's. Actually, both items in this dungeon are kind of on the way to the Triforce, so. Well, it's good that Nochi has them early. The fact that they're in six is kind of diminished by the fact that, again, they are both on the way to the Triforce. Yeah, it really just depends on your style of play. You, uh, If you just beeline or for that Triforce, although you will have to get the compass to know where it is, you'll just be able to uh, immediately, well, hopefully, just find that raft on your way and be rewarded for not digging level six. As funny as that sounds. So one thing that may be kind of important is uh, the key disparity between the two runners. Yeah, eight keys versus one. Eight is uh, definitely definitely uh, getting up there to the point of... Hold on a moment. Bidies is ladder blocked. Assuming there's no bomb wall to the north, that is correct. But even then, the ladder just... The ladder, I think, if I remember this dungeon correctly, was blocking something else deeper in, even if that specific room is not ladder yeah, blocked via a, bomb hole. We've seen every possible bomb hole on Noki's side already. The only way is to go right from that room, so this is definitely a ladder blocked six. Absolutely nothing you'll be able to do here without the ladder, aside from getting silvers. Which, I mean, silvers are nice. If you get that bow, then you'll be able to, uh, do a lot more damage. I'm not sure why he's clearing out, actually, clearing out this room to get bombs. And on Nochi's side, he is taking out this Gliok to open up that door to the room above. Still looking for the floor drop. 
probably gonna be in this room. Nope. Guess not. It's gotta be down here, though. Yeah, we've uh, seen... No? We've seen a surprising number of rooms. Hmm. And now no, he's up to, uh, the absurd nine keys. So, in the, the four... Oh, Sorry. go ahead. Well, in my, in my opinion, once you get up to nine, ten keys, you, you can start thinking about maybe, uh, skipping the, uh, the magic key you run into. I know that sounds silly, but just from how many keys you have, it's unlikely that... Well, it depends on how late in the game you are, but if you're late in the game, yeah. Well, let's be realistic here for a second. The magic key is going to be in this room, just by sheer virtue of he's already at nine keys. That is generally how that works. Fide's, uh, still digging six, hasn't realized he's ladder blocked yet, despite having the map. I'm not sure why he tried to bomb north. Perhaps he doesn't realize that in, uh, in shapes, if a room is not on the map, it does not exist with it, and there are no exceptions. Unlike, uh, Unlike Vanilla, where there are a few rooms that aren't on the map, every room is on the map. Well, I was wrong about the power bracelet being in... Th the magic key being in 3, it was the power bracelet in 3. But, I mean, we take a power bracelet, that's uh, a very nice uh, shortcut to level 9. And also just a shortcut to the uh, Lost Hills. Absolutely. Which, Nochi may make use of after checking the recorder spot. Because I imagine that's where he's going to want to go next, and then... Actually, he might just roll wrap. Yeah, we uh, we haven't seen the coast item yet. And, uh, it looks like Bydees is going to be heading to that, uh, that recorder spot. Because he's, uh, pretty low on places to explore, not having that ladder for six. Which, again, which would give you the raft for three. This which is... gives you the power bracelet for... Prosperity? Sure, let's call it that. I was trying to find a way to make a chain reaction keep going. Oh, look, it's level 8! And uh, with that being level 8, that means that level 4 must be under the candle spot. So, level 8. Huge dungeon, immediately starting with a bomb hole to the right. So, not a good start. Horrible start. But, uh, fortunately, runners do have a few bombs. Not many, though. That The nine keys to two keys is still going to be a thing that will happen. Yeah, that is by far probably one of the, the biggest disparities in this race so far. Besides that whole ladder business. Yeah. D oh, look, this... another key. Yeah, and eight, eight is usually a pretty open-ended seed. Or... Er, level, I say, being presented with two uh, key doors and nowhere else to Well, the one thing that level 8 tends to have quite a bit of, even though we're not seeing it just yet, is, uh, what's the words? Shutter doors. Yeah, you always gotta be careful. And uh, sometimes you might be tempted to think, okay, do I get the Triforce or do I, uh, risk exploring and getting, uh, ruined by a shutter door when I have no way of killing the enemies. I mean, the further you go on, the, the risk of that becomes a lot lower as you get better combat items in the ladder. Still, sometimes you have to really worry about Well, the good news is, because both of our runners have the recorder, they will not necessarily be Dig Dogger blocked. Now, whether they're willing to fight one or not is another matter entirely. We have yet to see a Dig Dogger in the seed, however, uh, we haven't really seen much of this enemy set with the piles of, uh, piles of pancakes. So, ask if you shall receive. Both are runners uh, having some breakfast today. I mean, that's not a bad thing necessarily. A lot of people have breakfast every day. Bidey's uh, actually taking out the dig dogger. Now, Noki is going to. Oh, but Bidey's. Be taking a risk, trying to sort it down for the last few hits. Gotta be careful, it moves fast and does two hearts. I think what ended up happening on the side of Bites is... He went to put the bomb down, but missed with the bomb. 
Okay, that's unfortunate. Takes it down, fortunately, but is not rewarded with anything in return. So far, this aid has been uh, pretty linear without much, uh, without many goodies. A few keys, but not much else. And uh, Noki knows at least a little bit of what the dungeon looks like, having gotten that map out of seven. Clyde's not quite as fortunate, so he'll have to uh, blindly stumble around. Hopefully there aren't many magic bomb holes. It's level 8. There's going to be magic bomb holes. Most definitely. Although I will say, I, I'm, I've am i been really impressed with uh, Noki's combat so far. I say, uh, as, as he's rocking four hearts still at 35 minutes in, both the runners actually have a surprisingly low amount of hearts. They've just been going right for the dungeons. Not really, uh, been, I don't think I've seen anyone take a, a heart or even open up any of the uh, free take any caves. Bydees has opened up one of them. That was how he was able to get his uh, fifth heart to pick up the uh, white sword heart. Mm, you're right. He would have picked up the uh, one of Monocle Rock. But still, uh, pretty low on health. Pretty low on combat in general. That's a very tempting Triforce exceptionally tempting. However, three items in eight, and that boss will not respawn, so I poke around a little bit more, see if I can find one of the items, if I'm lucky to, and then I'd uh, move on, especially having so many keys, so you can just, on Oki's side, just kind of go through uh, all the rooms, just look for a staircase. I, I think the only hesitation I would have to keep digging further is the land, is the sheer amount of land mullahs that are in this dungeon. True. Perhaps he was uh, trying to get a bomb off these enemies. Perhaps he didn't know that uh, this room cannot drop anything in level 8. There are uh, certain subsets of rooms that uh, cannot have drops in, uh, in certain dungeons. So uh, memorizing what dungeons can uh, not have drops in certain rooms is, uh, can really help. I must admit, it's... And this is oh, the... No. That's the problem with level 8. That's exactly what I mentioned earlier. Shutter door, you can't kill the enemies, and then you just kind of have to backtrack through everything. He's going to opt to just straight leave here. And I, I don't necessarily disagree with that. Yeah, you can... Uh, you know where the Triforce is... It's not that long of a trek to get back there. If you come back with uh, more hearts, etc., you can clear that room, get what is probably an item there, and then backtrack for the Triforce again. First, though, he's going to check the shops, which uh, he hasn't really checked many yet. Personally, I'm a big subscriber of the early shop checks. Or maybe he has checked the shop, and he knows that that is where he can get a candle. Well, also consider that... Uh... It's kind of more efficient to check the top shop first, which is the vanilla blue ring shop, and then come back down. Because you're going to have to pass through that screen twice anyway. Uh, the other thing to note is that Bydees did pick up the Triforce in level 8, and he's off to go back in. I mean, I don't blame him. Yeah. Uh, three items there, and he's got, uh, he's still missing the ladder and the raft and the silvers that Noki has, so he's, uh, Missing quite a lot of nice items. Just really, it all stemmed from him not being able to get that ladder. Just doing it in the wrong order. This has been a very right order seed, so. And I think that's that may be part of why Nochi has decided to just gamble on eight. Is he's only missing one item that can't be in nine. He's got every reason to go check levels four, one, and two first, given that they're smaller, as well as the ghost item. Yeah, he uh, he technically just needs the bow for go mode. Although, five hearts would sort of... No tunic? Green tunic? I don't think, uh... He'd be, uh, he'd have a hard time with Ganon. I'm not saying it's impossible. People do a swordless and uh, one-hit KO and all that all the time. But it's definitely not something you want to do unless you absolutely have no choice. Agreed. Although I think depending on... 
Although I think the more behind or ahead you feel is going to have some level of dictating as to how much are you willing to risk on nine going in with the low hearts, basically going in low percent. If you're able to get the stun lock on Ganon, it doesn't necessarily matter how much health you have. It's just a matter of can you keep the stun lock for however many hits. So you see our first item in eight. And it is the floor item. So uh, if Noki does decide to go back into eight and check that staircase and just check a few staircases and leave without the floor item, you won't be missing anything. And speaking of four, we, we are in level four. We see the dark nut set. You find a, an early compass and a ladder block, unless there's a workaround. So lots of uh, lots of ladder blocks so far. Bidi's really uh, really there's not much that I'd say Bidi's is doing wrong. He's digging dungeons. He's just not finding any of the good items. By the way, I really like what Nochi's doing here and using the ladder to kind of poke away at the Dark Nuts without be without them being able to retaliate. Sometimes the safest strat is the best strat, even if it's slow. Especially in a long endurance uh, dungeons, where you don't want to be risky. Especially when you don't have uh, any uh, rings. Plus, if you're just down to one enemy left, you don't want to have to re-clear the whole room by dying. It's better to spend the extra 10, 20, 30 seconds to do it safely than it is to re-clear the entire room. Well, Bidey's about to, uh... Oh, but he gets past the one Wiz robe. Can he get past the others? Uh, oh. no. Ooh. His best bet might have actually been to just sit inside of the like like for a little bit. Yeah. You know, he's going straight for the Triforce here in four. Perhaps Noki is uh, taking a gamble that he'll just run into the boa on the way to uh, the rest of his Triforces, because he's still missing quite a large number of them. He hasn't been into level 1 or level 2, which he might be gambling on. He might have also said, let me get the health refill from the Triforce because I know where it is, and then go back in, which is what he's doing. Which, if, you're tr if you do get an early compass and you see like that, where the Triforce is kind of deep, it's not necessarily a bad idea to make your way to the Triforce, look for the item on the way, then come back in when you have full health. Yeah. Definitely uh, not a bad idea. Now he's being a bit more aggressive, killing some of these uh, Dark Nuts. He is a bit low on bombs, gotta be careful. Meanwhile, Bidey's, uh... I don't think... I don't think he's gonna have uh, much success with this uh, Wizard Rope Staircase room. Yeah, that... A candle would actually go a long way in that room. Yeah, just something to... Just take the low damage so you don't take the high damage. Mm-hmm. Or just come in with tons of hearts, red ring, maybe a magic yeah. shield. Maybe a potion. Or a maybe different direction. Yeah, maybe if you're lucky you can uh, bomb, bomb the orange wizard robe and then just leave through a doorway so that it doesn't... So maybe get one less enemy. That's what I think he should have done when he first got through it. Is uh, maybe just gone in through the left doorway to try and uh, get around safely. To maybe get the enemies to spawn on the other side and also see what's in the next room. The other thing he could do is uh, try to find a workaround via bomb walls or transport stairs to get to the other side of that room. Before he even has to go through it. Although he is going to leave now. I don't blame him. So far... No, I don't either. The seed has given us a lot of progression, missing only just the bow, but not much else. No wand, no... well, no bow for our arrow combat. No ring, no white sword, none of the good combat options, not even a red candle. But plenty of hearts. Honestly, I wouldn't even say it's been a, a lot of hearts. We're 45 minutes in, neither of our runners has started their second row of hearts yet, or even completed their first. Honestly, you know what? I'd say this is a low health seed. It's a low health, high exploration seed. The seed was saying, here's everything you need to go explore your dungeons. Get into your dungeons, go do. Noki getting trolled by a fake staircase only to find a real staircase. What's our item in for? Or at least one of them. 
It's an item that I... he... I mean, he'll take it, but I don't think he was really looking for it. I can't slow clap with one hand. I'll, I'll, I'll try something for, for you. Thank you. I, I like the choice to clear this room out because these diamond stairs tend to have drops in them anymore. So it makes sense to try to clear this out to see if there's a floor drop in this room. Yeah, and there he's explored uh, and full cleared most of the rooms so far, and still hasn't seen that floor drop, so it's definitely a decent chance of it being in here. And even if it's not, it could be the map, could be something. Who knows? I was going to say something about Bidey's skipping the heart container on the coast, and then I remembered he doesn't have a ladder. He does, yeah, he doesn't have a raft to get that, uh, our container from the take any either, unfortunately. And again, so far, the seed just really hasn't given our runners a good starting spot. Digging 5 was a play, but it wasn't really a good place to start. It just happened to be uh, that brute force was able to work very well. But again, no dungeon has had easy combat. Every dungeon has, has had some form of a difficult enemy. Some reason that will uh, cause you a lot of deaths. And we haven't even seen nine yet. I will say it might be tempting just to go back into five just because the last time you were in it, it was so long ago. And uh, especially on Bidey's side, having no items there. Oh. Ladder blocks the red ring in four. That's... Oh, man. Everything is blocked by the ladder. I don't think Nochi's gonna have any trouble at all in levels 1 and 2 now. Yeah, and for all we know, one could have the bow. We've only seen uh, a heart container and one. We Haven't also still have... Go ahead. That's all I was saying. <laughs> we also still have the patch of blocked item in level 2. That is true. Or or it's uh, in the tea room. But this, yeah, the the second floor item into you. The, the red ring doesn't necessarily open up the combat, but it makes it where you don't have to worry about taking an accidental Lionel hit or a pulse voice hit. You can just kind of shrug it off a couple times. Yeah, that'll pay off dividends. Nokia sees that T room. No map though, so he doesn't know he can bomb north finds the book, and he'll be able to dodge it with the ladder now. And, uh, the other thing that's actually kind of important about that red ring is if Nochi finds he has to redig eight, it's going to be a lot smoother of a ride, because he doesn't have to worry about that staircase room with the wish up so much. Yeah, he can, he can a lot more easily tank the damage and just brute force his way through. And Bites is gonna go to level one, it looks. I mean, he's, uh... It's been a while since he's been there. He's got some more health. He's got, uh... Not so much, uh, that many keys, but he's got some bombs. And it does so have two it's... items as a relatively small dungeon. It, it yeah. makes sense to come here to try to look for items. Yeah, he actually only saw these two rooms because he was bomb-blocked. Now, speaking of bombs, no key this time has run out of bombs, so he'll uh, have some trouble. He can't get the Triforce without bombs. Uh, th this might actually be a situation to uh, go get that bomb upgrade at 6, if he can remember it. Because he does have, he's got silvers, he's got a candle. That may be the uh, play to make here, because I don't, I don't recall where, if any, of the bomb droppers were in this dungeon. Uh, I think they would be, they, they would be Lionel's. So I, there have not been many red Lionels and, sorry, blue Lionels in this uh, dungeon, although there is one on this screen. I, I do think it would be faster to whistle the 6, get the bomb upgrade, and whistle the 4 to get back here. Also, thank you, old man, for giving us information we can't use and telling us to do something we can't do. One, uh, at, once you get that bomb hole, it seems to be opening up significantly more. Nochi's also going to have that issue in one where he can't get in without bombs, so... Hmm. 
Interesting, he's heading back towards level 4. I think he's going to go buy bombs. Bombs for 34 rupees at the shop down here. He might also try to get some bombs. No, he's just gonna go buy bombs. I, I don't disagree with the maneuver. I think the bomb upgrade would be a better purchase overall. But I don't necessarily disagree with buying bombs in either case. Oh, but something I do disagree with is Bidey's picking up that scrap metal off the floor in level 1. Now hold on. Think about how tough the combat's been in these rooms. Even if he can't stun the Wizards, if he can stun the Lionels, if he can stun the Gibdos, if he can stun at least some of the enemies, that will help him get through. True. So I don't think picking up a boomerang in general is a bad idea. Yeah, and he, he did think about it for quite a bit of time. It's And boomerangs, as much as a, at least I like to, and the community likes to meme upon them, they are really useful items, not just for stunning enemies, but for picking up long-distance items, long-distance hearts, and bomb drops, and rupee drops, without having to uh, walk several tiles. And again, they can kill, uh, they can kill enemies that uh, shuffled to zero HP. Now, I'm also firmly of the opinion that the correct boomerang to pick up is the first one you see. Regardless of the color of it or which type it is, the first boomerang you see is the correct one to pick up if you're going to pick up a boomerang. Well, Nokia picked up some bombs. Not picking up the Triforce just yet, he wants to explore the rest of the dungeon first. We'll uh, find the news that uh, the second item's not so easy to find. We'll see, uh, what room he decides to clear first. Well, I don't imagine he's going to have much issue with the Patra when he gets back to it, but I, I don't think he, he would, I don't think you can clear the Patra unless it's your last resort. Although that tea room might be kind of annoying to clear, so you may clear it before the tea room. I'd actually have forgotten, but... Let's, uh, let's not forget that Bidey's actually is working off of minus one bomb capacity from uh, one of those early, early uh, dungeon dungeons he tried to... Yes, he did pay the toll of one bomb instead of the one heart, which... Makes a bomb upgrade, the bomb upgrade in six when he makes his way back there even more appealing. Yes. Now, the other thing to note is it may, that may be uh, due to just lack of experience, but that may be due to the fact that the randomizer, one of the options is you can now start with less than three hearts. There may have been a concern that because of that, it's possible to go below three hearts if you start with three. Mm, I hadn't even honestly thought of that. Noki doing now, a great job of uh, oh. taking down this Patra. Absolutely. Is he rewarded for his efforts? Yes, he is! The bow! Ladies and At gentlemen, Noki is in go mode! At 53 minutes and 7 seconds. Although, again, needs... this is a, an astoundingly bad set of circumstances to be in go mode in. Wood sword, no wand, no white sword, no... Actually, he does have the red ring, so... He does he have will... that. Yeah, but still, even with six hearts, that's a bit rough. I definitely... I think he's gonna go... In his case. Yeah, I think he picks a potion up here. He doesn't even... Oh, he's not even gonna do that. He's just gonna go straight for the level. He might pick up the potion... No. Well, where's level nine? Level nine's at level six. Where was level five? I forget. Uh, level five was a uh, left of start at vanilla three. I think his route based on what he has left, is going to be... Go ahead and knock this dungeon out, which is 1, 5, 8. Get the tr get the free Triforce right before 9, which that may have also been why he left the Triforce in 8, was to get that free refill. Could be. Could Even be. though the fairy technically would have been faster. He is going to get this uh, heart container uh, in 1. Yeah, if, if you see an immediate bomb block in 1, you're probably not thinking it's a magic bomb wall. So you just go for um, you just go for the stair, thinking it's split. Yeah, I'd be uh, I'd be surprised if he turned it down. And he will, and the, the uh, white sword item, which I don't believe he's picked up yet, is another heart container. So he will be a bit have a bit of uh, hearts, but again, I mean, Ganon is mean. Ganon still does a 
bit of damage, and more importantly, the enemies that are nine, you probably, due to them, you probably won't enter Ganon at full health, so having a potion is never a bad idea. So, so, so for folks who are either ju who are just tuning in, who are, or who are watching after the fact and are skipping around in the video or whatever, um, the main difference between these two runners right now. Oh wait, you could get to the red ring without the ladder. There was a workaround, because uh, Bidies just picked it up. Well, that's rather uh, convenient for Bidies. He uh, is in four. He did. Uh... Oh, we haven't seen a map uh, of four yet. Noki finding everything without the map. So name that ink block. But to go back to the earlier, um, the big difference between these two runners is. Bidies opted to bounce on level 5 early. Noki Beto decided to take a stab at getting an item out of it. He pulled out the ladder. The ladder led to, led to the raft. And there's a couple other places where having the ladder has just been extremely helpful in dungeons. He's had more keys throughout the seed. The ladder has opened up a lot of things. But there's just enough available to do without it that Bides has been able to reach the point that he has, which... He's currently key-blocked out of level 4. That's, uh, really unfortunate. And the only way to get around it is to have a ladder. Now, personally, I, I don't think that, uh... Bidey's play of leaving 5 early was a bad play. No, it... It, it made sense, because level 5 was Dark Nuts, it was Skip Doze, it was Paul's Voice... It was not a fun enemy set to tackle on three hearts wood sword. Although he is going, although it looks like he's going back now. Yeah, I will Hopefully say. Hopefully he gets I his think, ladder out of here. Yeah, I think what the bad play was was waiting 50 minutes to go back into level five. Personally. Although again, to be fair, you didn't really get anything to help clear the room, clear the uh, dungeon, any better. We'll see now Chibeto back in there in just a little bit. I'm kind of surprised he's being as conservative as he is with his arrows here. I would expect him to be using them more. Perhaps he's uh, forgotten that he picked up the uh, silver arrows. Let's hope not. He may also not be planning on picking up a large secret between here and nine. Or just wants to save them for five. Which is also very reasonable, given that 5 is longer and has Pulse Voice in it. Very true. And speaking of 5, we are going back into 5, so we'll see what, uh, what we have. Now, looking at the uh, items that we have and haven't seen, we're missing an item in 1, an item in 5, an item in 7, two items in 8, and two items in 9. Of those, we have the White Sword, the Red Candle, and the Wand. So... So, this has been a brutal seed. It's... It's been a brutal seed in terms of combat. It's been a free seed in terms of dungeon access. And those are the those are the weird seeds where it's like, Alright, well, I can't do anything, but I can do everything. Okay, this is uh, some unfortunate gameplay from Bides. Not how uh, he's playing against this Leoc, but the fact that he is trying to kill the Gliok. He entered from the left, and he's opened the door on... or entered from the right. He's opened the door on the left, and we saw on this first pass, the door... or the item on the floor was a key. So there is no reason to kill this Gliok. It's just costing him a significant amount of time. But remember, it's been about 40 minutes since he was last in here. He may not remember that the key was in this room. True, that's, uh... And you, you can only track so much. It's can be difficult, just keeping track of what you've done in which dungeon. Now Chibedo is now going- is now in the Triforce room at level 5. Some blue darkness, but he does have some bombs. Serenading the darkness does not work. But uh, if you uh, do happen to know what that song is, feel free to uh, Feel free to make some suggestions. I personally have no idea what that randomized recorder tune is. 
and Bites was in the room below the Triforce. Also, if these Dark Nuts rolled high, I think. Fortunately, though, I don't think he'd be able to pick up the Triforce just with his one bomb. The blue Dark Nut combat is uh, pretty rough, even with uh, a blue ring. Having to wood sword all of them down, it can take a while. And we're hearing some suggestions in chat that it is the game start theme from the NES Metroid. Could very well be. Can't say, uh... You know, I've actually never played a Metroid game. It's on my to-do list. That Speaking can be fixed. To -do lists, yeah. Speaking of to-do lists, on Noki's is, uh, get the Triforce from 8 and, uh, enter level 9. So let's see how long that takes. And Noki knows exactly how to get to that Triforce, I imagine. I, I, and, uh, in that, I imagine he remembers it. It's only, like, four or five screens in. It's a really fast Triforce, as we saw many times from Bides passing up that Triforce room and then unfortunately taking a death in the room to follow. There's always You always get a little bit of a happy feeling in a seat when you don't have to full clear both six and eight. Yeah. Only having to full clear six in, in this situation. But again, but, oh, know, what oh, a six it was. That's a bomb upgrade. That's going to be plus four. Now, it looks like a, only a plus three because he, looking at Bidis' bomb count, but remember, he gave up a bomb earlier in the seed to a toll room. Bidis uh, finding that much needed key. So, uh, fortunately, he'll be able to, uh... I'm not sure, again, why he's trying to kill this enemy. He's, uh, got bombs. He can't get the bomb. He's got the uh, item already there. Just killing it for posterity. Either way, while, uh, Bides was picking up that aforementioned key, uh, no key. He's picked up the, uh, last key to level 9. So now he just needs to head over to Vanilla 6. That's not Vanilla 6. Oh, maybe he's gonna check the White Sword item real quick. Yeah, and if it's a Vanilla White Sword or a Wand or something, might as well pick it up, free combat. It's gonna be a hard container, although I don't imagine he'll pass that up either. And to be fair, it is a free item that you can just get. Yeah, unless it's like a boomerang or a book, or it's just something completely useless. No reason to not pick it up. I think he is going to make use of the power bracelet here to get back to level 9 very quickly. By far the uh, fastest way to get up to uh, vanilla 6. Find a wand in level 5. So that's where it was hiding. Either so way, that will... Uh, substantially help Bides with his combat. It just... Uh, unfortunately... Uh, it just may not be out. enough. Yeah, five Triforces down, still missing the ladder, and having to pretty much clear all of six. It would take a... a I, I hate to be pessimistic, but it would take a miracle for Bides to catch up, being this far behind. But level nine is colloquially known as the Great Equalizer, so... Speaking of level 9, now that we have ru one runner in the dungeon, uh, we're going to be looking for one thing and listening for another. We're going to be listening for the War of Ganon, which free heart container immediately. Um, Ganon, he might have made his walls bomb-proof, but he didn't necessarily make them sound-proof, and he likes to throw parties. So you can hear uh, Ganon when you're one room adjacent to him. Uh, the other thing we're going to be looking for is if Ganon has not been defeated, a shutter door that remains closed after killing all of the enemies in the room. That will be the location of Zelda. And if Ganon has been defeated, then that shutter door will open immediately upon Nochi entering the room. And it will only ever be a single shutter door room. So that shutter door that Nochi sees right now could be it. 
as could this one. Although it is a, a rough nine, whiz robes everywhere. So, this combat, uh, not giving any of our runners a break in any of the dungeons. This, this is where you insert the surprise Pikachu. Uh, we're being asked, uh, is this a back-to-back -back race? It, in fact, is. So, right after, uh, uh, this race finishes, Noki and Bites will be doing their round two race. And, uh, we'll see if a round three is, in fact, required. How excited they're going to be for the round two race is another matter entirely. Hopefully it, uh, gives them a bit of a break compared to this one. We did see that a uh, map of level 5, but it was blo blocked by the ladder, which is somewhere in level 5. I want to say it was in the northeast corner. I think you're I right on that, Mark. Hello, compass in level 9. That's extremely helpful. That compass tells us where Zelda is in level 9. We are also, uh, Bidey's took an unfortunate death to the Blue Dark Nuts. Gotta be careful, Blue Dark Nuts, uh, they aren't pushovers. They've got really good AI, they do a fair amount of damage even with a, a ring, and they can take a few hits. And to answer the question before it gets asked, uh, yes, Zelda can guard the compass, and it's the most annoying thing ever when it happens. There's no internal check that Zelda's room can't be in a floor item room with a standing floor item. There's I do want to say there is an internal check to make sure Zelda doesn't appear in a staircase room, because that could lead to some shenanigans if you have forced Ganon on, but she's in a stair room. Correct. Zelda cannot appear in a staircase room. I believe there are only a handful of rooms. Actually, I think maybe it might be every room that isn't a staircase room that Zelda can be in. Although I have in the past, I, this has probably since been fixed, because it was like two years ago, did get a seed where if you turn on second quest uh, dungeons, because Second Quest Nine has that one-way stair, Zelda has appeared at the other end of the one-way stair. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that's been fixed. I, I am too, just... It's an oddity with the whole Zelda Campion stair room thing. Anyway! Yeah, anyway, we're still, uh, we're still listening for Ganon. So far, we're in the complete opposite end of where Zelda is. Personally, uh... Personally, I'd actually explore, try and make my way to where Zelda is if I'm looking for Ganon first, simply because it's pretty likely, well, not fairly likely, but not impossible that Ganon uh, leads to Zelda. It happens uh, more often than you might think, so if this might be the case, where uh, Ganon and Zelda are, uh, Ganon rather guards Zelda directly, might be a good idea to check. You know, Fred should call that old man. Uh, doo 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 in chat, thinking it might be, uh, staircases and horizontal shoots that can't have Zelda. I am fairly certain that both types of shoot rooms can, in fact, have Zelda. I know I've uh, been, uh, shoot blocked from Zelda before. I, I think the problem with the horizontal shoot is where the trigger for, for picking up Zelda is. It would be inside of the blocks. Actually, you're right. It would be, so... Fair enough. And Bides is leaving level 5 without the ladder? Oh, this is unfortunate. But I mean... He might be thinking it's an 8. He like, might be, and he has spent a long time uh, not finding that uh, floor item. Also, just like to give a brief moment to actually shout out Doo Dude, because uh, he is our uh, wonderful tracker this seed. Doing an excellent job of uh, keeping us informed and reminded of where the items are. Feel free to follow him and both our runners, myself and my co-com. And of course, the Speed Gaming family of networks. Ah, uh, maybe he's getting a magic shield? Maybe. No? Speaking of magic, almost a magic staircase to Zelda. But, oh! oh wait, we have Ganon! It is a magical seat after all. And what do you know, Ganon is right beside, uh, or near Zelda. Just, uh, not quite guarding. Oh, she's got the stun lock. Can he hold it for all 15 hits? This is a... Overall, this entire he seat... He can! I 
that was a very, very good Ganon fight. He just, he, he got fortunate that he was able to stay in that corner, and then he got the, once he got the stun lock, he did an excellent job of uh, not dropping. Now he just needs to find the path to Zelda. He knows he can't bomb into Zelda's room, but he's gonna try to bomb south here. No dice. Maybe uh, I try north again next. I am really curious as to why, especially at this point down with Bruce Rips in the dungeons, why not use silver arrows on these Gyptos? You've got plenty of uh, money to spare. He's gonna go try to the north of this room now. Uh, it could just be that he's sort of forgotten he has them? Maybe. Could be a... Although, could uh, be a uh, go looking ahead. at, uh, sorry. Looking at all those bomb holes, we couldn't bomb north, couldn't bomb south, couldn't bomb, uh, east. It was a complete magic staircase, magic bomb hole to Ganon. No other way to get to Ganon. That, that is a fate you don't... That, that is an awful, awful fate. But the real question is, is it magic staircase to Zelda also? Uh, looks like the answer... Oh, not quite yet! We're close! <laughs> Zelda's but not surrounded quite yet. by staircases. This game is a... I, I swear, if you can't go left once you go down, then this game is a trolling so hard. See, well... You can't there's go a left, goma. but can you bomb left? Let's find out. Nope. Oh my. Maybe the answer was uh, north from that staircase. Maybe, but... Oh! The bomb drop in the in the Gibdo room. That's huge for an OG. That is absolutely massive. As Bydees is now in 7, probably looking for the ladder in here. We haven't seen the floor item in 7, although... Uh... No guarantee that it's anything good. Could be the white so Can you bomb north? No! Zelda is surrounded by staircases. This is uh, turning out to be quite the trolley nine. You can bomb to the right and go north. Can you go west? Yes, but you, you have to use the west. But do you want to go west? Well, you heard the old man in level one. You're right. <laughs> he knew so much. He was trying to guide you to Zelda! <laughs> Again, I'm not sure why he's not using silvers to take out these enemies so that you're just left with, uh... with whiz robes. This is not an easy room to deal with whiz robes in. Yeah, especially... It's, it's re rooms... reasons like this why I say, get a potion. Maybe you don't need it for Ganon, but... you might definitely want it just for the combat. Don't you bait us. Going back to start. Bydees has picked up his Triforce in level 7. He's gonna dig further, think, hoping that the ladder's in here. I don't think he's uh, seen the uh, the staircase heart container either. He has. He has seen that. Okay. My I'm bad. In the same room as the Triforce. Go figure. No, she would uh, love... I think this is a new staircase on Noki's side. I think so, Might but not. it takes him up to the not direction he needs to go. If you're Noki at this point, do you check that one stair that you saw on the way to that wizard room in hopes that the white sword? I mean, personally, I would have checked it uh, before going to the white sword room, because my uh, my suspicion was that uh, it's a magic staircase to Zelda from the south. This game is hard. This game is mean. But that is a that was a beautiful block clip. And there's the Goma blocking those two rooms in seven. Hopefully they don't have the items. Well, Nokia finding staircase to the top left of level nine now. Gonna try and get rid of these Gibdos. Still not using his silver arrows. But fortunately, uh, it's just some Gibdos, so it won't be very uh, difficult with the sword. It'll just take some time. To answer the question in chat, we don't yet know if it's a magic staircase to Zelda or not, because 
We've seen a couple potential paths to get there. Oh. We had a oh. magic staircase to Ganon, which was also directly to the right of Zelda, or left of Zelda, but you couldn't get to Zelda. We had a magic staircase that led directly right of Zelda, but there was no clear path in any of the uh, ways around. There might have been a, a way if you go out of your way, but so far, Zelda's been surrounded by staircases that did not lead to Zelda. So, so the real question is, what actually is the air speed velocity of an unladen keys? Forget the rest of the seed, that is the real question we need to answer right now. Uh, let's go with, uh, t 12 meters per second. Squared. That's... That's actually... That's an acceleration! <laughs> if it's accelerating at 12 meters per second squared, that is a really fast keys. Nochi is now out of level 9 as he is out of bombs. He might... He honestly might just go buy bombs, maybe get a potion, and then just go back in for it. I'd, I'd suggest, uh, this is exactly what I was about to say he's doing. Or not. Looks like he had a miscount. But I would have, uh, just grabbed that, uh, take any directly south of that dungeon, get that potion, then buy some bombs. Honestly, there's a bomb shop not that far from 9. It is expensive, but you do get 4. And if you can make your way back to that room... Uh, that he uh, previously died in, he might be able to get a get a chance at Zelda. Oh, I think I know what he's doing here. You remember that bomb upgrade in six we were talking about? That's right at the start. Yep, that's also. I think he's going for that. He he's got enough money it. to buy it now. Still no potion though, which I really I keep harping on this, but I really want him to get a potion. Did he take the potion from Monocle Rock? He did not. He may go to Monocle Rock after getting the bomb upgrade in 6. I think he took a heart from Monocle Rock. Hmm. Either way, uh, Bidey's found his way back into 8. I don't now gonna... think he's in the room that he actually got the floor heart container in, but so far, nothing else has been... Uh, it's been shown. He does have that red ring now, so he should be able to get to that staircase that was guarded by those infamous wizards. And little does... Like... Nochi Beto does not realize how much of a lead he has, and that lead is not necessarily shrinking at all due to Bitey's Making the right numbers play, saying, okay, 8's got two items left, I can probably get something out of 8. Which numbers-wise makes sense, it's just, it's not where the ladder is that we know in hindsight. Yeah. And, Again, uh, from a pure number standpoint, this, this play totally makes sense. Yeah, and this laid into the seed, especially having to leave level 9, rooms away from Zelda, but not being able to get to Zelda. Noki's gotta be sweating, Noki's gotta be, uh, nervous. Oh, absolutely. Like, just having to leave nine in general is enough to start is enough to start the nerves going. Much less after seeing what you've seen in this seed, knowing that that dot done could come in at any second. Bidey's uh, having a party with some uh, Dig Dogger kids and Disco Fireballs. Man, this is uh... a crazy. But he's able to take them down and uh, is rewarded with absolutely nothing. He gets an open door. And he's back in the wizard room. Now with his red ring, he can face tank the damage a little bit better. We will finally see what this item is. It is... Uh... That's disappointing. I almost wonder if he picks it up just for the chance of Magical Sword. I mean, at this point, definitely. E even just for the sake of, you're at one heart now, this puts you up to two hearts, just so you can explore a little bit more without dying, and having to backtrack again back to this room. Bidey's trying to uh, damage the enemy and then walk through it, during the iframes, uh, that does not work on Wizrobes. Wizrobes have no invincibility frames. 
Nochi picks up a key as he clears out that wizard room. He's down to four bombs. Oh my goodness. Can you go left in this room? Moment of truth. Yes. You can, but can you go down? You can! You can! And with that, Noki Batty finishing with an official SRL race time of 1 hour, 20 minutes, and 12 seconds. And immediately after, we have a forfeit from Bidies. I can't say I blame him at all on that. Just the la just a ladder proved to be in the one room that... The ladder was just in that one room. That one room. But definitely get your GGs in chat for both of them. Yeah, that was a that was a rough seed. That was not easy. And both our runners put up a, a fair fighting shot. And again, I don't think Bidies necessarily had bad routing. It was just there was really difficult combat everywhere, and the seed did not give you much for that combat. Yeah, that was just a uh Early exploration, but no combat boosts. That That's basically the seed in a nutshell. You can go anywhere, but... Yeah. Anyway. As we, we mentioned uh, earlier, Game 2 is going to be taking off... What, a couple of minutes? The, yeah, there's we, uh, up for Game 2 going on? We'll give our runners a, a few minutes. Uh, so... We're going to be taking an intermission just about now. We're going to swap to match two, and then we're going to see uh, if we're going to need a game.